Hello students, welcome back to my math class again. We're looking at the second lesson on dividing fractions. We'll use the same strategies we used in our previous lesson. So today's focus is on dividing fractions by fractions and dividing mixed numbers by either fractions or mixed numbers. Our strategies will be the same as in the previous lesson on dividing fractions, which is the keep change flip method and also using equivalent fractions with the same denominator. Of course, we're also going to be applying our knowledge of how to find the reciprocal, which is the flipping or the inverse. We also would use factors highest common factor to help us simplify when we have to multiply fractions and we also would apply our knowledge of multiples to help us to find the LCM. So multiples, multiples to find LCM. Right. Let's use the first success criteria to this problem, which is the keep change flip. Now the question is two over nine divided by one over six. So a fraction divided by a fraction. Of course, as we have said, we we'll use keep change and flip method. So we'll keep our two over nine and the divide sign will change and that will become multiply and that would be inverted. So we'll have six over one. Let's pop the equal sign there. Now, as you know, we will multiply the numerators together. We'll multiply the denominators together. Now, we'll look for common factors. Now we can see with six, three can go there and give you two times. And with nine, three can go there and give you three. So the numerators, you have two times two, that gives you four. And the denominators, we got three times one, that gives us three. This is an improper fraction, so we can simplify. Three goes into four, one, remaining one, so one over three. And that's our final answer. That's our final answer using the keep flip, I mean, keep change and flip method. Right. Looking at the same question, if we want to use equivalent fractions with the same denominator to help us with that strategy, what we need to do is we got this divided by nine and that divided by six. So this is where the multiples, multiples, and then LCM come in. So as you can see, if we take nine, the multiples of nine times one is nine times two is 18 times three is 27. We can stop the six times one will be six, 12, 18, we can stop there. We can see the lowest common multiple LCM equals 18. So we're going to have two, we're going to have two new fractions all divided by 18. Now with the nine, you have to multiply by two to get 18. So we have to multiply the numerator so by two and two times two give us four. 
this multiplied by 3 gives us 18 so times 3 gives us 3 now <clears throat> we can see that they are both divided by 18 therefore our problem simplifies into the division of the numerators 4 divided by 3 and as a result of that 4 divided by 3 that gives us 1 1 over 3 because for 3 we're going to 4 one time leaving a remainder of 1 and so 1 over 3 same result as before by making use of multiples and LCM as opposed to using the strategy of keep change and flip they are both effective methods now let's look at that again returning to the first success criteria keep change flip so let's write it underneath here keep change flip so we'll keep that as it is 3 over 10 we have to change that to multiply and that becomes 5 over 4 now we multiply the numerators together we multiply the denominators together what I've always mentioned is that don't carry out the products yet because you can look for common factors and cross them out use the common factors the highest common factor in this case five will go there and give you one five will go there and give you two so now we can carry out the calculation three times one will give us three and two times four will give us eight and three over eight there's nothing we can do again so that is our final answer that's our final answer. Now, remember, nothing stops you at this level here to say 3 times 5, 15, and to do 4 times 10, 40. As I've said before, you cannot leave your answer this way. That cannot be left. You have to simplify, and to simplify this, you can see straight away that 5 will go into 15, you divide by 5 and you divide by 5. 5 will go into 15 and give you 3 and 5, 40 will divided by 5 will give you 8. So the same 3 over 8 answer. The, pro the problem becomes a bit harder when you go ahead and you perform that product. Always stop there, look for common factors and cross them out as we indicated in the previous lesson you can always cross cross out diagonally or vertically you cannot cross out horizontally that's the key thing to keep in mind right let's move on we're using the second success criteria so we're looking for lcm and for 10 and 5 i think it's pretty obvious the common denominator will be 10. The common denominator will be 10. Now, because it's 10, that's not changed, so that will still be 3. But this has changed, it was times 2, so that should be times 2, and that gives you 8. Since they are all divided by 10, the problem becomes simply 3 divided by 8 and 3 divided by 8 is the same as 3 over 8 same result as before same result as before now we've got a mixed number 1 1 over 6 being divided by 2 over 3. Let's write it here, divided by 2 over 3. Now the 1, 1 over 6, we have to change that into an improper fraction. So that becomes 
6 times 1 plus 1 or divide by 6 and this is being divided by 2 over 3. Now the next step here 6 times 1 will give us 6 plus 1 that is 7 over 6 and we are dividing that by 2 over 3. Remember our strategy we are using is KCF keep change flip. So if I keep that, change that and flip that then I'm going to have 7 over 6 multiplied by 3 over 2. Now at this stage the 3 will go there 1 and the 3 will go there and give me 2. So now I can multiply out my numerators and denominators. So I've got 7 times 1 which is 7 and I'm dividing that by 2 times 2 which is 4. So 7 over 4 and that is the same as 1. 4 goes into 7. 1 time remaining 3. So 3 over 4. 1, 3 over 4. And that's your answer. So all that we've done is first change that mixed number into an improper fraction. And once it is like that, we can just carry out. It's like two fractions. <laughs> now, using the second criteria, again, we'll do the same thing. Remember, we've got 1, 1 over 6, and we're dividing this by 2 over 3. So again, we'll do 6 times 1 plus 1. Divide by 6 or divided by 2 over 3. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1, 7. So 7 over 6. And pop equal to sign there and equal to sign there. Divided by 2 over 3. <laughs> now at this point, we want to have equivalent fractions with the same denominator. So 6 and 3 is pretty obvious. The common denominator will be 6. So 7 over 6 divided by something divided by 6. Well, you multiply this by 2 to get 6. So you multiply that by 2 to give you 4. So the next step, they all divided by 6. So the problem reduces to just the division of the numerators, which is 7 divided by 4. And at this stage, 7 divided by 4, that is simply equal to 1, 3 over 4. Now, there's something I need to tell you here. You see, at this point here, the reason I keep saying, well, because the denominators are the same, so the question reduces to just dividing the numerators. It's very simple. In the first lesson, I kept saying the same thing too. But let me just tell you, if I give you that problem 7 over 6 divided by 6, 4 over 6, and you use the keep, change, flip method. You will see that you will see that you will have seven over six multiplied by six over four. The six will cancel. The six gives you one and gives you one. So that will be equal to seven times one is seven, and one times four is four. So you have seven over four which is the same as 1, 3, over 4. So there is a lot of mathematics in that situation whereby we are just simply telling you, you know, the problem reduces to just a division of the numerators. So 
there you have it there you have it so let's look at the next slide now we have two mixed numbers being divided and we're using the first assess criteria criteria which is keep change flip we need to convert both into improper fractions before we can proceed to improper fractions so i'll do five times one plus three divided by five this being divided by four times two plus three divided by four now five times one is five plus three that gives you eight over five and we are dividing that by two times four which is eight plus three that is eleven over four now that we have both mixed numbers in improper fraction improper fraction fractions now we can simply we can simply do our apply our strategy keep change flip so eight over five multiply by four over eleven and i always prefer to put the equal signs there So multiply the numerators together, multiply the denominators together. And that gives us 32 over 55. So our answer is 32 over 55. We cannot simplify any further. Because there are no common factors, so we just multiply them out. So 32 over 55. We're using the second criteria. So again, we're changing them into improper fractions first. So that will be five times one plus three divided by five or divided by four times two plus three divided by four. So that's eight over five. And we are dividing that by Two times four is eight plus three, that's 11 over four. Now, five and four. So the LCM, if we do the multiples, LCM will be equal to 20. So we have to divide this by 20 and we have to divide the second one by 20 as well. This times 4 gives me 20, so the 8 multiplied by 4 that gives me 32. This times 5 gives me 20, so the 11 times 5 that gives me 55. Now they both divided by 20. So as we've said before, it reduces to 32 divided by 55. And that is simply 32 over 55. Same result. I'm not simplifying any further. So that's our result. Right. So at this stage, I would kindly request 
that you complete these problems, these three problems, one, two, and three in your math books. Please show your working out and post any questions you have at Google Classroom, and we can take the discussions from there. Remember, let's have a discussion at Google Classroom. Complete your online homework. The online homework, please complete at www.mymassonline.com.au. Let's complete the homework there. And if you want to see my YouTube channel for the lessons, my YouTube channel name is Chris Tabby Maths. Chris Tabby Maths. You can find all the previous videos there. Of course, I'm posting them on Google Classroom, so you can get a link from there as well, too. Please like my videos. Be kind post nice comments, please, and also be kind and subscribe to my channel. Let your friends subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.